Hey guys, this is just a quick update to let you guys know that I made it through Hurricane Delta just fine. I know you guys haven't uh, got any content from me in a couple of days, two or three days. Oh, I need to be careful here. I don't know. If, let me show you guys that limb hanging. Yeah. I need to see if I can knock that down before that thing falls on somebody and hurts somebody uh, like me. <laughs> so, wow, I didn't notice these limbs back here. Oh, that's nasty. It's right across my chain link fence back there too. That's not good. Anyway, but for the most part, Hurricane Delta was just another storm. I lost power on and off a few different times the first day after the storm, but power was restored rather quickly. But then I haven't had phone, cable, or internet for three days because the storm toppled a very large tree uh, that I guess fed the entire subdivision I live in, uh, cable and internet. Um, I mean, it's a few hundred homes probably in this subdivision and they were all out of cable for the last three days because this tree, a huge tree, just I guess uprooted, fell on a house, threw some power lines, and it was a big mess. It took them a while to clean that up. But for the most part, Hurricane Delta was like any other hurricane. It was just another hurricane. It wasn't anything like Laura, right? I mentioned at the time, Laura was, was crazy. Uh, Laura was a, a once in a lifetime storm is how I described it. And it really was, it was, uh, Delta was in no way comparable to Hurricane Laura. But you guys were concerned about me. Uh, I, and I got a lot of messages on Patreon and Mastodon and email and everywhere else. And I, I do appreciate you guys that were worried. I know we, I wasn't able to contact you guys or respond in any way because when I don't have power and when I don't have cable or internet, my phone actually doesn't work. Like I can't use, I don't get cell service here on my phone. I really have to get in my car and drive away from the neighborhood I live in to actually use my phone. So when I'm here, I'm kind of dependent on Wi-Fi. And without the cable and internet, you know, I couldn't even do anything on my phone, you know, if I wanted to post from my phone to YouTube and let you guys know I was okay. But uh, the storm was fine, you know, very little damage. Got to clean up the yard a little bit. I do want to uh, say thank you to all you guys that messaged me, though, uh, even though I wasn't able to respond <laughs> at the time. Uh, I, I did appreciate you. Uh, all you guys, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to catch up reading some of that. I probably won't respond to it all, though. I do want to give one quick shout out, though. I know Dennis uh, from the Life, Home, and Linux Journeys YouTube channel. If you guys don't know that YouTube channel and you don't know Dennis, check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He's a great guy. I know he was really concerned about me. He sent me a couple of messages because recently his home was badly damaged by Hurricane Sally over in Alabama. And... So I, I, he obviously knows how uh, potentially devastating, you know, these kinds of storms can be. Oh, I see my cat. I've never actually introduced you guys to my cat on video. You guys see that black cat behind me? I've mentioned on many of my videos that I have a cat, but I never show him on video because I don't actually allow him in the room where I record because he's going to jump up on the desk and get in the way. But let me change the view here on the camera and I'm going to introduce you guys to Mr. Barack Obama, my cat. Hey, kitty, come on, come here. Come here. Oh, come introduce yourself to the world. You are going to be a YouTube star. Yeah. Oh, you starting to get a little gray hair in your coat. <laughs> All right. Uh. And yes, I really did name the cat after Barack Obama. <laughs> uh, I actually got that cat right, I think, the week he was elected president. And I figured, you know, there's always been kind of a tradition. People naming their pets after presidents. <laughs> Usually dogs. But I was like, why can't it be a cat? <laughs> so I named my cat Mr. Barack Obama. And he's been a great cat. He actually helps keep pests out of the yard. He kills a lot of rats and moles and, and other critters. And Occasionally, he will kill a rat and bring it to the doorstep and leave it on the doorstep for me as a gift. And it's rather sweet when he does that, but it is a mess. Anyway, I, 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 it's getting late in the day here, and I really didn't have time to make a proper video, hence the vlog-style video. But I'll probably get back to making normal kind of content 
tomorrow on Monday or if I still have a lot of catching up to do on Monday, you know, cleaning up after the storm, maybe I'll, I'll get back to making regular content on Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, though, we'll start getting back into the swing of things. It does feel like the last couple of months, though, there's been such a disruption as far as me producing regular content, mainly due to Mother Nature. But hopefully all of that is past. Hurricane season is pretty much winding down, so I shouldn't have to deal with any more storms. At least nothing anywhere close to something like Laura, at least until probably August, September of next year. Anyway, take care, guys. Peace.